Three, four, five. Okay. Come on, test one. There we go. Okay, for some reason, the, my microphone was refusing to be... Ex uh, this stupid stuff again. Uh, ahoy, everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be a Captain Hillian tonight, along with... Here's some first mate right here who is not seeing the game at the moment. Uh, it should... I'm seeing Let OBS me... within OBS. Okay, the hell... Let me double check. There. Okay, what? What is causing that now this time? Uh, seems today is just the day of... Okay, there. Wait, just... Okay, just... <laughs> just lowering the height of the program. A few pixels did that. It wasn't even close to the border of... Uh, OBS was being a stupid program. Anyways, welcome back to Ori in the Blind Forest, our fourth stream of this. And yeah, last time we learned why Kuro did what she did. And yeah, it was because the spirit tree accidentally ended up killing her <clears throat> her uh, hatchlings. Yeah. Yeah. Of which it had, well, absolutely no knowledge of that they were even there, so... Yeah, whilst the spirit tree was calling out to its child, it accidentally killed the children of another. Yeah, it's quite yeah. sad, ain't it? Yeah, but all we can do now is move forward and try to heal as much as we can. Okay, we yeah. also got to Mount Hura, which, well, is quite the hell on fire, as you can see. Uh, let's see. Yeah, quite toasty. And it's also on the verge of erupting. So we'd, we'd better get the hell out of here. Oop. Still no clue what the hell those things are supposed to be other than very angry. Yeah, I don't know if they're elementals uh, or it's just a self-defense system. I'm going to go with elementals of a sort. Like, they're very clearly energy of some kind. Okay. We've been... Oop. We've been blocking... Oop. We've been blocking lava flows from top to bottom. We, we're done with the right side. Now we just need to do it on this side as well. Let's see. Let's not forget to put down save points. Because I've Ooh, forgotten that more than enough. Ooh, okay. Gotta be careful around here. Okay. <laughs> Go for a bath then. All right. Yeah. Oh, frog dude. chimp. Uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna call them frog chimp, but it looks like a mix between a frog and a chimp. As in chimpanzee. Okay, they do look somewhat monkey-like, but yeah, I'm not sure what they're supposed to be exactly. Oh, hello. We'll yeah, for I thought first uh, I saw they were monkeys, but then I noticed the hands and feet and face looked there. Not really the monkey. <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, yeah, we gotta run because we've been blocking up so many lava flows that well, it was a, it was going to go somewhere, and here it all comes. Uh, we're even okay. That's an annoying little jump there. We There's some sort of form of reptile or something, I think. Nope. Okay. It wouldn't be one of these dungeons in this game without having to run away from something. Come on! The yeah, th that spot is e poorly designed. It... it 
it goes too far inward for you to easily climb up the side of it. The best I can do is try and jump away and then try to double jump up, but it doesn't always work. And yeah, there's no not enough hot air to give a lift up. Oh, wait, I'm being an idiot. There's no need oh. to climb up that, because we can do this. But it's a bit hard to think clearly when you're running from a bloody lava flow. Yeah, it says you should enter in a, yeah, you enter in panic mode, which we were. Okay, and, there we go. Oh, alright. And no shiny? No shiny this time. And ow. Okay. Well, right. I guess in Uri can have, hold so much uh, energy. We do need to heal, though, because we have only one life left, or one en life energy left. Is there something else here? Hello, there is. Yeah, that, that's the shine I spoke of. Okay. Uh, Wait, what did you think I spoke of? You have no idea. We, there were, the only thing, shiny thing I saw was the crystal here. I didn't notice yeah. all of this here because I was kind of running away from the lava. <laughs> Yeah, I was talking about the crystal. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. open. Again, I really freaking hate those slimes. They're like living landmines that make more landmines. Okay. That actually sounds terrifying. Okay, there's another flow here for us to block. Hopefully without dealing with the overflow. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> now, we have to get around this against the rotation. Let me grab that. Uh, can we... No, we can't go any further. We probably shouldn't go any further that way. Okay. Uh, now, how do we actually... It, it oh, blew... We just stomp. Oh. Yeah, earlier, I think you actually made the slime shoot it down. <laughs> okay. And that's another one. Run! Okay, we've lowered the lava level now, so that should open more areas for us. Okay, I, I, I know you told you earlier that you may need to sometimes take a warm, relaxing bath. This was not what I had in mind. <laughs> that is a bit too much. Oh, dear God. Okay, we only have to deal with the jumping one. Uh, it, it kind of feels like, almost painful, like... We're in a volcano, while we are in a heat wave over here already, in Sweden. Nope. Yeah, over here it's more the f that the... Oh, is, that must be it. Yeah, that is most definitely. Over here, we, we haven't had a... Well, we're not having a heat wave, it's more that the temperature keeps jumping up and down. Like Same. 5 to 10 degrees or something. Same here, like... Apparently somewhere it's 24 Celsius. My room is warmer, and it's more very thick, heavy air. Uh, yeah, that is definitely an element of warmth. <laughs> Holy... And hello, Marco! Hello, Marco. You doing okay? Let's see. The element of warmth is within our grasp. With the elements restored, we could undo... We could undo the, eff the effects of our wrath. Okay. There we go. Yeah, it looks a lot better now. Yep. That does not. Yeah. Like she wasn't going to take notice of us mucking around with everything. Oh. How, how did I survive that? Yep. No idea, but let's... 
Yeah, okay, you... Oh, come on. There we go. And you're... Ooh. What? She's flying around somewhere. Up there. Never mind, she's there. Uh, Marco, I will give it my want if you give me some wintry cold. Okay. I will send a bust your bubble that Sweden hasn't be, really been a frozen country in eight, uh, for over a few decades now. Yeah, if you want ice, you should go look at Greenland. And if you want green, you should look at Iceland. Yeah, or go to very far north in Sweden for many areas here in south in Sweden. Basically, we've been having almost 20 years of, uh, 15 years of a rainy Christmas. And hello again as well all to you, Glacier Boy. Uh, going to keep the focus Boy. on this. Because this is Just one of the long need. chases. Damn it. Yeah, we're going to see Kuro take off there quite a few times, I think. Like. These chases are epic at all, but some of the things that just pop on you are really freaking annoying to have to, to try and have to dodge the first time. You. Yeah. Not to hit all it. Come on. For some reason he wasn't doing the bash. Okay. Right on our bloody tail. Uh, 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 come on! What is with those flames there? Uh, yeah, I'm not going to be able to read chat for a bit. Also, I have I have taken a look at the suggestion box on the Twitch page. I actually expected that to, well, actually give me notifications of when there, there would be things posted there. So sorry for not responding to any of that. Yep. Come. Okay, do I need to smash that or do I need to use the the light burst? Because we are We're not just dealing with the time parts themselves. There's also just fire yeah, like there. Just, there there's a fire spreading Okay, just in general that we have to outrun. Okay. okay. There, there. Okay, that. Oh. Let's see. I can see a little bit of chat with the the other. Chat program that I have open here. I'm gonna steal your heart, OMG. Are you in a five fan? What? Me? Or uh, going to need to fix your spelling a bit there for me to get what you're trying to say there, Marco. Uh, I think he means. Uh, I think he put me at the wrong place. Uh Not just that. I think he's uh, trying to say. Oh, oh, Persona 6 fan. And the organ donor says, What? There. Okay, why can't. Mm, am I just being too slow or something? And let's see, Marcus going to go watch Spirit Away. Okay. Yeah, uh, what's his phone battery dies? I forget which one that is. Uh, uh, I know which one it is. I even have it on DVD. Okay. Is that the uh, one with the, the no mask or something or whatever it's called? Uh, 
a bit, yeah, a bit, it has that uh, mask thing that turns you a big monster. Am I just literally not fast enough there or something? Okay, we need to use the element, the elementals attacks to get past, but... Hmm. Okay, just gotta keep focused. Yeah, the environment is proving a bigger enemy here than Kuro actually is. Okay. Yeah, it looks like the flames there start the moment that we arrive. So we need... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, she is damn persistent. Oh. Yeah, she, she definitely could have gotten us there. Okay. Uh, fire. Oh, okay. Here, there is enough heat of air. Oh, Just on. too late there. Okay. But we are making so, progress. Oh. Hmm? oh, damn it. I thought we had to reach a some room checkpoint by now. Okay, there aren't checkpoints in the other chases, so there's none here either. Why are you refusing to bash there? There. Yeah, I get the feeling if we take too long there, that Kuro definitely will catch us mid-air. Come on. There. Okay. In case. You can see her. You can hear her approaching as well. She's going that bloody fast. Okay. Quick. Not getting burnt. Okay. Can we. Nope. Oh. You do it. Spirit tree is near. There's one more step to take. The first of Nibel will live once again. Bloody knew it. Just like at the start, we get to control Naru.
Okay, I'll be honest, I did not think we were this close to the end of the game. <laughs> Wait, what? Holy... Yeah. Well, like... I hope you have the second one ready. <laughs> uh, yeah, I do. And with that, the lands are restored. Her hatred almost led to the death of her own child. And in the end, she gave her life for it. Okay, yeah, Ori is 3D here. That is Ori in the Blind Forest. <sighs> it's a damn good game. Yeah, I said this at the start and I'll say it here again. This game is a work of art, if you ask me. Also, did you notice the stone? It has yeah, the Gomu stone. and Kuro added on it. Uh, I, I was <sighs> saying this, it's a work of art? A work of story and a work of game. Yeah. And as frustrating as it can certainly be at some points, I'd say it is definitely worth it. Yeah. I'm surprised. I thought we were to start the second order game next week. Uh. I, I should have put on my Ori shirt for this. It, it's actually a really good design. And, I mean, yeah. It, you should probably have copied that shirt to your avatar. <laughs> uh, maybe. Uh, let's see. Marco added something to the Discord. Okay, I, I believe I have a suggestions tab there as well. Yeah. Should we read up or we be missing through to that madness? Uh. Uh, but, but yeah, again, I'm sorry for missing all of the stuff in the Twitch suggestions box. I really thought that Twitch would give me pings for that somehow. And yeah, this game was entirely made in Unity. And typically when people think Unity, they think, well, rather crap games. But there's, there's actually a reason for that. Uh, because all of the games that have that startup made in Unity at the front, it, that's the free version. So all of the games that use the full paid version of it <laughs> don't have that pop-up. So people don't know those games are actually running in Unity. It's typically the people who are using the free version and thus a much bigger chance of having a rather bad game or low quality game in a bit in a more nicer wording uh, yeah those have a lot higher of a chance of people tying the unity name to it Holy! <coughs> <coughs> but yeah since we finished it so quickly uh, I will need about a minute of startup or to basic <coughs> to well start up and set up the second game, Ori and the Will of the Wisps. Which is, at the moment, the second and last of the Ori games. And Ori. With, Ori, yeah, or with Ori, I'm... A part of me would want to see a third game sometime, but on the other hand, it's a... You run the risk of diluting the quality of the game. Like, that you run it too far along. Yes, especially when you try to uh, make it many of the games very quickly between each other. True. 
though, if you do take good time between them, like, you know, to really plan it out well and smoothly, it can, it can go well. Actually, I remember they... something now. Oh? Uh, uh, but you go first. Uh, I was to say, it also comes to the uh, developers themselves and they feel like if the story is done or not. Uh, a durable pair. Uh, yeah, those are hoops. I can't really see anything solid. It just it could be because Ori is so shiny that it makes it hard to see. And I just realized that there is a little bit more. Like we have only seventy five percent of the map completion, and I remembered that. The new area that was added in the game, which is somewhere all the way over here. Uh, yeah, I believe it is over here. This this area gives a bit more exploration into Naru's background. All right. Because we saw that statue that looked like Naru. Thank you. Yep. Soon tight. <laughs> Thank you. But, yeah. <laughs> uh, I forget the specific details of it, but I believe if, as you go through that area, you will get to know more about Naru and her father. And, yeah, what, uh, what led to them being on their own like that. Uh, yeah, we would have to backtrack quite a bit to get there. So, yeah. I'll leave that for people to discover themselves then. Yeah, but that, that, that's probably a mistake on your end, that you didn't think of exploring that before entering the volcano. Uh, true. But for now, we're going to close this one off. <laughs> Glacier boy, bless you and all those who can't swim. <laughs> uh, Wait, what? Swim? Okay, I'm going to stop the recording for a second.